Russian military personnel continue to complain about mass cases of so-called zeroing by the command. At the front, extrajudicial executions of servicemen by commanders from various offenses simply occur. Most often, such executed persons are subsequently declared missing. A new video has appeared on social networks in which a Russian soldier complains that a company commander with the call sign DUDE has already executed several of his fellow soldiers in this manner and may also execute him. The author of the video asks not to consider him missing in action if he stops communicating. If you don't understand why the Russian authorities banned gadgets at the front, it's because they did it to prevent such information from getting into the media. The author of the Telegram channel, Seatel Vetra, comments on the video. In a newly intercepted conversation, the Ukrainian state project I Want to Live reveals how Viktor, a Russian soldier currently on the front line, tells his wife that their commanders have abandoned them without communications, water or food. He then adds that their own sniper kills anyone attempting to escape. You understand, I'm fucked, and you send such messages. It'll be easier when I'm dead, the soldier says. Today someone tried to leave and they were shot dead. A sniper is watching from the corner. There's no way through. I'm in deep trouble. No water, no food. Commanders bailed. To survive however you can. Nothing good here. I wish they'd kill me sooner. It's all fucked up. Victor complains to his wife, adding that morale among his comrades is at an all-time low. He goes on to say that they've been considered blowing themselves up with grenades to get injured and be taken to a hospital, but the Russian command has anticipated this and no one evacuates the wounded. There's no point, even if you blow up and lose a leg, you won't be taken out. We have fatalities and no one can recover them because the Ukrainians won't let us, Victor said. I Want to Live points out in its post that this is exactly why our project was created and we'd gladly accept a request from Viktor or his wife to help them escape the front line. Dissatisfaction is growing among Russia's troops as they are increasingly given unrealistic objectives and sent on needlessly dangerous missions by their commanders. In several calls recently intercepted by Ukraine's military intelligence, individuals discuss ways to avoid further deployment and the civilian population is panicked by the fear of being conscripted. Defense Express has reported that Russia has begun installing SpaceX's Starlink satellite communications on Shahed-136 attack drones. Starlink equipment was spotted on one of the drones that Ukraine's defense forces downed during a Russian attack on the night of the 24th to the 25th of September. Defense Express published photos showing a satellite dish with a serial number which investigators will use to trace the supply channels of the Starlink terminal. By equipping the Shaheds with satellite communications, Russia can obtain powerful feedback from these drones along with the ability to transmit data from it and the capability to change flight tasks at any distance. Defense Express emphasized that this development primarily transforms a Shahed drone into a reconnaissance tool. 
With Starlink, Russians can use a Shahed drone as an extremely long-range loitering munition capable of additional reconnaissance with an extra camera and which can even strike moving targets. Shaheds were likely chosen for this purpose due to their range, around 2,000 kilometers, and significant internal space in the fuselage. Defense Express also noted that while Starlink does not operate and is not sold in Russia, the Russians are acquiring it through third-party countries. Although the Starlink terminals are useful for fast and reliable access to the Internet, they also allow battlefield users to control drones and other military technology. Earlier, SpaceX CEO Elon Musk and the Kremlin denied reports that Russian troops in occupied territories of Ukraine were using Starlink. The Defense Intelligence Agency of Ukraine's Ministry of Defense said that intercepted radio transmissions of Russian troops indicated they were using Starlink terminals for Internet access. But Musk said on X that the reports were categorically false, and to the best of our knowledge, no Starlinks have been sold directly or indirectly to Russia. The US sent thousands of Starlink terminals to Ukraine at the beginning of the war with Russia in February 2022 after seeking ways to keep the Ukrainian government connected in anticipation of the invasion. Before Russia invaded, the US was prompted to send the terminals amid fears of Russian physical and cyber attacks on Ukraine's electrical and communications infrastructure.